Truman Earl. I graduated from Will Rogers in 1959. I am very proud and extremely honored to introduce my good friend, Olive LaVan Stover, on her induction into the Will Rogers High School Hall of Fame. I cannot think of a more deserving person to be recognized with this honor. Pa Paula has held multiple positions culminating in becoming the executive director of the Lyric Theater in Oklahoma City. The Lyric has gone from a small civic theater to one of the most sought after centers for musical theater in the Southwest under her direction, leadership, and guidance. I am thrilled at this recognition of her life's work and legacy to the arts. But let's go back to the beginning. Paula and I have been friends, have, have been friends since September 1956 when we entered Will Rogers as sophomores. We developed an immediate friendship that was 61 years ago. Here at Will Rogers, cheerleading, pep squad, etc., just was not in the cards for us. Therefore, Paula ran for class social chairman and I ran for class treasurer. A much better fit. Our high school years were full of academics, well, mostly for her, and activities that kept us extremely busy. Paula was always very smart and succeeded in what she put her mind to and was passionate about. I was the lucky one who reaped the rewards of her desire to achieve and succeed. She inspired me to be a better student and strive for excellence as well. I always felt her warmth, radiating personality, and sharp intellect. It was a privilege to call her my best friend at Will Rogers. We graduated in 1959, but our friendship did not, not end there, far from it. Paul and I decided to, the summer before our senior year that we would be roommates in college. Since the LaFans and the Trumans by this time were considered just like each other's family, we packed up and with my dad driving us in his Oldsmobile, headed to Norman and Kate Center dorms at OU. We pledged sororities, met our respective spouses, and enjoyed the university life. After college, we married during each other's weddings, had children, seven between us, uh, that catapulted us in all different directions. I moved to Texas, but Paula and her husband, Carl, remained true to the Oklahoma spirit and stayed. Paula started working at the Larry Theater in the 70s as a volunteer and launched her way to board positions and then to executive director where she was in, instrumental in the Larry's unique success. Paula always loved the arts and just like she did at Will Rogers, she blossomed and used her talents and skills to push the envelope and make her vision a reality. A reality that has made a remarkable difference. My granddaughter, Hannah, graduated from OU this past year and is working in Oklahoma City. So Paul invited her to a performance of the Lyric. Hannah said it was the most spectacular evening and thoroughly enjoyed herself. She was amazed at the production, the talent, and fun she and her boyfriend had. Performance. She said it absolutely rivaled anything in New York. This is a trademark of Paul. Paul is someone I loved and admired and a person I always knew would go on to do great things. In this day and time, it seems hard to celebrate the art and beauty in this world. But someone like Paula brings it to the forefront. I can't think of any other contribution that is more needed or appreciated. It was a great honor to me that she asked me to present her at this historic event. 
So without further ado, please let me introduce to you the most deserving recipient, in my opinion, to be inducted into the Will Rogers High School Hall of Fame, my good friend, Paula Payne. Paula LaFan began her road to a career in theater production, learning from one of the best directors. As a sophomore at Will Rogers, Paula was selected for the Roundup Board. Its much respected director, Miss Doris Niles, produced a well organized, smooth running, and entertaining talent show each year. Paula learned from the best. She graduated in 1959 and then went on to the University of Oklahoma, where she met and married Carl Stover, following him when he entered the Air Force. When they returned to Oklahoma, she became a supporter of Lyric Theater, volunteering to sell subscriptions to the company's shows in the 70s. Paula says, I always loved musical theater and plays when I was in high school and at college. When my husband and I moved back to Oklahoma, we started going to shows and I began to volunteer. She served as president of Lyric Theater Guild in 1977 and as president of Lyric Theater Board in 1984. She served on that board for 12 years and was deservedly recognized for the outstanding service when she received the Phoenix Award in 1990. At that time, she became a member of the staff as Director of Communications. In 1996, Lyric Theater ended the season with an accumulated operating deficit of $250,000. Resolved not to let the theater go under, the board launched a major fundraising effort and appointed Paula Managing Director. Working with an almost entirely new staff and alongside a new artistic director, Paula led the organization through three tumultuous seasons. Production budgets were slashed in half and the administrative wages frozen. Within three years, Lyric's deficit was eliminated, a surplus was generated, and Paula was named executive director. Finally on firm financial footing, with a surplus for building an endowment, Paula was ready for a new challenge, a move to the Civic Center Music Hall, to move into Lyric's first permanent office headquarters at the Old Plaza Theater, and the establishment of a children's program called Lyric Academy. In 2000, Paula's decision to move Lyric Theater from the campus of Oklahoma City University to its current location spearheaded the revitalization of 16th Street, now one of the most vibrant creative art districts in Oklahoma City. In recognition of these efforts, Paula received the 2016 Urban Pioneer Award. For over 50 years, our mission has been constant. Lyric Theater of Oklahoma has made it our goal to create theater that thrills and enriches people's lives. From heartfelt drama, to comedy, to bold, soaring musicals, the men and women of Lyric are proud of the world-class production we create for the people of Oklahoma. Our shows will take you to new worlds and excite you as only live theater can. Paula LaFan Stover led Oklahoma's largest professional performing arts organization, Lyric Theater of Oklahoma. She has worked with the best in the industry, including Tony winners Cheetah Rivera and Tommy Toon, and has fostered the careers of Tony winners Kristen Chenoweth and Kelly O'Hara. Her reputation within the arts industry, both in Oklahoma and nationwide, is unmatched. She is both admired and respected for her commitment to the arts. 
Paula's longtime volunteer service and professional achievements to the field of arts management have been achieved with inspiring grace and have had a broad impact on her city and the state. Without our traditions, our lives would be as shaky as, as a fiddler on the roof. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your very own Paula LaFan Stover. Thank you so much. This means a great deal to me. After all, all my love for the arts really started here at Will Rogers High School. I will tell you that I was on this stage many times giving class reports and things like that and never had a problem. But during my senior year, uh, Ms. Niles talked me into being in a play. And I was terrified. I shook like a leaf the entire time. I can tell you all kinds of things that happened to me in high school, but I can't even tell you what the name of that play was. And afterwards, she very nicely said to me, you know, uh, maybe your career is not on the stage. Maybe it's behind the stage doing things. But anyway, thank you all so much. You can also learn what not to do while you're at Will Rogers. Go Rovers!